26 foot base level little skyline bunkhouse coming in on trade here at Aylid RV of Goldwater, Michigan. You know, I mean, she stood the test of time. I don't know what more you want to ask out of a trailer. Now, uh, if you're not familiar with the name Aljo, you may actually uh, recognize this RV under a different name. Skyline had different names for different regional production. Uh, Aljo, Scout, Joey, Layton. I feel like maybe I'm missing one in there, but those, uh, they had multiple names for basically the same camper. Because they had different local suppliers in different regions, they would give them all their own name. All basically the same camper. Skyline's no longer with us, but uh, you still see them out there in the marketplace like this one here. Like I said, I mean, is it perfect? No, it's, it's old. It's not fancy, but it's also not dead. And I don't really see anything wrong with it beyond just normal usage stuff. Um, <laughs> probably, let's see something this size this age how they constructed them i'm gonna estimate this will be somewhere between 42 to 4800 pounds uh awning actually looks like it's in decent shape um you know it hasn't been abused or anything just a couple years on her i'm not gonna make a bunch of promises for anything this old by any stretch of the imagination uh you know it, everything on this as far as i know works today but maybe it won't work uh you know in a week from now um, you just never know on something like this. Uh, anytime you see something this age, I always recommend that you come see it in person, put your hands on it, form your own opinions, and that's the best thing I can possibly recommend for you. Because my interpretation and your expectation for the dollars involved, they just may not be the same thing. And anytime there's money involved, I want you to form your own opinions. Like, I like the fact that this has tilt-open jealousy windows, because it's been raining today, and on a rainy day, you're going to appreciate that. But maybe you don't care. So come see us in person. Uh, get your hands on it. Let's take a peek inside. Again, not necessarily fancy, not flashy. This was not fancy or flashy when it was brand new. But it ain't dead. There's nothing to really be ashamed of here. Now, the original uh, refrigerator, the gas electric RV fridge, has gone the way of the Buffalo. So it's been replaced by a small, actually it's about the same size fridge that you find in the outside kitchen of a lot of newer RVs, the, the bigger outside kitchen fridge. Uh, but it is electric only, so uh, if you want your refrigerator with this, you are going to have to be plugged into electric shore power. It says a bigger uh, classic Atwood 22 inch oven before uh, they started getting smaller 16 inch ovens in these things. And actually rolled uh, like roller shades instead of mini blinds, which is funny because the market's actually starting to transition back. To, to roller shades. Now, um, looks like they got a little breaker system installed up here for the air conditioner. You know, you flip it one way to kick on the AC and the other way will probably disable something. Not sure exactly what here. So there's a quick peek at that uh, refrigerator that was installed after the original one died out. A lot of people do this because uh, an RV refrigerator, a gas electric fridge is very expensive. Whereas a little uh, electric replacement fridge like this is very manageable. So if what you're looking for is to have a, a reasonable price tag on something, um, this is the uh, in a inexpensive way to do it. I really wish I'd have brought my uh, flashlight with me, but hey, be that as it may. This is something a lot of people talk about, and maybe rightfully so I could say complain about, and I don't mean complain like, eh, you whiny people. I, I mean like, yeah, no, you got a legitimate great. Um, this has lots of storage in it. This has uh, like that extra bonus closet storage we just looked at. You don't tend to find that in a lot of campers today, but uh, a lot of it is because people have decided that other things are more important. You know, for instance, this has the traditional single over single bunk, as was pretty common at the time, and now everything is a double double bunk. But that means that the bathroom gets squished over. So what they do is they rotate the bathroom, which kills that closet. That's how they accomplish that. So it's kind of just funny how floor plans have morphed and changed over time, what different people feel is appropriate or, or more important or whatever have you there. So your sofa can fold down to a little bed, your dinette can fold down into a little bed. Ah, shoot, I forgot to put the cushions up, <laughs> so it looks like half done. This also has your classic east-west camp queen and it's this east west bed right here that actually uh it created the whole camp queen thing you know this uh sideways walk around bed right here um this is where the the short rv queen came from before that you know there was just a queen bed and then there became the short camper queen i do like the extra tall closet that sits around here though that's always a crowd favorite you got power outlets on both sides of the bed, too, which in today's market, that's really popular for, like, CPAP machines. Uh, at the time this was built, I don't know, maybe lights, fans, something like that. I mean, it's an old camper. It's, 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 it is what it is, but it, what it is ain't bad, really, for what it is. 
for the budget you're going to be spending. Now, I mean, full disclosure, I'm not trying to, to uh, snow over nothing. Yeah, it's had a couple little spots where some water got to the ceiling panels here, there, or whatever. The, uh, the entry door itself is a little bit spongy from where some water got in there. But again, the fact that basically it's still here, it's still in good shape. If you want to try camping before you buy camping, you know, this is kind of a way you can accomplish that. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.